What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is the Knights Four here bringing you a new construction update video. So, um, a lot of the images and video I will show you, they're not mine, I'm going to pull that out of there. Um, I don't know if I'll have any video, I think I'm going to mostly just be pictures. Um, mostly just, yeah I'll throw in a little video from there. But um, So, essentially the video is from Awkward Arsic. Um he went down to Universal Studios with his girlfriend Hot Dog and they did um, a construction update video. I'll put the link in the description of the video below to see what they had to say, but um, basically their their video I'm just going to mostly focus on the, um, the courtyard because they had start construction there. We have not confirmed what that maze is yet, so I am kind of curious as to what that is to do a construction of. Uh, Awkward Arsic puts it in the video that the walls are actually extra higher this time so no one can peek in and get a look of what they're building and stuff like that. Um, but if you have tall people like me and him, I guess we can kind of peek our way over. So I don't know guys, maybe next month we'll see a construction update from me eventually. But essentially they have started construction on the unknown maze. We do, we do not know what's going to be there for... Uh, the Parisian courtyard so be on the lookout because maybe in the next couple weeks we'll get an announcement of to what that maze is going to be or uh, maybe we'll wait till like the very last minute of what that maze is going to be. They did that last year with um, Insidious. A lot of people were speculating that it was Insidious because of the facade and that was the last maze that wasn't announced and that was the first maze that was actually done being built so a lot of people were speculating of what that was and so it was pretty cool. The next bit of uh, maze construction update I want to share with you is from uh, the SoCal Exploring team. So the girl who uh, took the picture, her name is Natalie, she's part of the SoCal Exploring team. If you guys don't know who SoCal Exploring is, my boy Scott who runs the channel SoCal Exploring. He's got a little team of photographers and video people who go out there if he can't make it out there sometimes and will help him out and assist him in uh, you know, making what's best for the channel and stuff. So very thank you from Natalie, uh, a very thank you to Natalie from the SoCal Exploring team. Really appreciate these pictures you came out with. So um, he came out with, uh, let me check real quick. They were on his Instagram and I saw him earlier when I was at the drive-thru for getting food, uh, ironically. So he came out with three photos uh, and they're all for the mummy cube, which we know is gonna be the trick or treat uh, maze. The first image that we see here is obviously the facade of the maze. We do have somewhat of a confirmation saying that it might actually be uh, the main house that we see at the end of the movie that the old man lives in. That's what it's, uh, it's, that's not what it's looking like to me, but it's looking like a house, and I want to say out of all the houses through the movie, it's going to be that one, unless they're going to do the house that's in the very beginning of the movie where we see the lady die, and ultimately becomes a scarecrow with uh, the lollipop shook in her mouth. That would be cool, and we see all the decorations out front and the lady out front who's dead, and maybe Sam out there kind of greeting you to come into the maze. That would be really cool. Um, the next bit of uh, the next photo we see is the entire maze from start to finish. Of course, we have the black tent finally up, and they are. Uh, if you look closely uh, at the very end of the maze, they are starting to uh, tape it off to as what you know what the maze is going to go like and how it's going to run through and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And the very last photo Natalie got is actually the end of the maze, and they are, like I said, constructing of how the maze is going to be labeled out and how people are going to walk through and stuff like that. I'm very much looking forward to this maze, and I cannot wait. So um, yeah, guys. Hopefully, the next time I do a construction update will be me actually going to the park and getting photos and stuff like that with George. So be on a lookout because construction updates are going to start coming out uh, for sure, not in June for me, maybe at the end of June, but for sure I can guarantee you I'll be there in July when I get my leg healed. But uh, that's it guys, this is my first construction update. Thank you to Awkward Arsic and SoCal Exploring for uh, essentially having let me use their stuff into the, um, the video. Um, go subscribe to their channels. I'll leave the link in the description for that video that uh, Awkward Arts have made and I will um, obviously link you to SoCal Exploring's page to check out those uh, images if you guys want to take a look at them even longer. Um, but thanks guys for watching this video. I really appreciate your guys' support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>